okay so the next approach how can we still reduce the memory requirement okay so the next approach is to quantize quantization is the way to go so we can quantize the uh, model parameters right so initially the model parameters required float 32 which is 4 bytes we can reduce it to uh, 16 uh, sorry float 16 or bf16 which requires essentially 2 bytes and can we reduce it further or can we use int 8 instead of float okay so it turns out that there is again a separate branch of study on this but we can quantize the model parameters and we can use it for the inference and again if you really want to continue the pre-training using LoRa and also we can if you want to quantize we can do that as well so the only change in code is like um, so we need to use bits and bytes you have to install all this so if you are if you are going to experiment all these stuffs at your end with in your own with your own compute then you have to install all these packages in google collab also you can experiment because it provides some 19 gb of memory so you can experiment these as well so bits and bytes uh, we are we have to use this for to use the quantization so now we are going to load the model in 8 bit precision uh, so you can see that we use the quantization config and we ask the model to you know load the model in 8 bits and there is no change at all we use auto model for causal lm it's the same stuff the same function from pre trained so now we are just passing this quantization config id so if you do that the model gets loaded in 8 bit all the parameters you can see that t project k project b o and uh, the parameters in the mlp layer all of them are now 8 bit okay so, so it reduces the memory significantly so if you count the memory footprint of this model it turns out that it has instead of 5 gb it just requires 1.5 gb of gpu ram and we can use directly for inference but if you really want to train we need to add some adapter layers and you can continue the same thing use the lora config no change at all and instead of the model we are now going to pass the model 8 bit and the lora config so the number of trainable parameters remain same but the only thing is that the memory requirement is reduced a bit at least okay so instead of 10 gb it took only 5 gb of memory per sample okay which means it enables us to increase the batch size even further from 16 to say let's say 22 something like that okay. and you can quickly see that the LoRa model you know the adapter layers are added and also all the uh, weights in the model are quantized to 8 bit of course while training there are uh, subtle concepts like whether it uses the 8 bit during the training as well all these questions you can ask but i suggest you to refer to the documentation to know the details and also remember that these are all under development so it is always good to check whether all the configurations are working properly by looking at the uh, gpu memory profile okay okay so no change you can call the trainer api and you know this approach just required 6 gb from 10 gb we reduced it to 6 gb of memory so that we can increase the batch size okay so PIFT plus quantization provides techniques so that you can we can use make use of really uh, larger models okay in the consumer grade gpus so here we experimented with 1b we can go with 3 billion parameters and nowadays you know for many applications it is 1 billion parameter models and 3 billion parameters are more than sufficient we really don't need to load some 7 billion or 70 billion parameters models okay yeah so with this uh, I, I hope you learned uh, good stuff from this experiment and of course here we just continued the pre-training we can also fine tune the model for a specific task okay so task specific for example if you want to really you want to do sentiment classification we can fine tune the entire model Okay, even though it is not required, again for demonstration we can do that. That we will do in the next uh, experiment. Okay. Thank you.